It's 9 o'clock at night, you've just finished your algebra homework. Your mother says to you, I don't want you on that game all night as you get onto the computer. You say, Mom, don't worry. I'm only going to be on for five minutes. You log into World 18 and go out and get your first target, and it's somebody with 10 HP and they have 60 range and a dark bow. You think the loot is going to be amazing. We both skull, he says to you, and you say, okay. You attack him, and all of a sudden, your face gets fucking murdered with the force of a thousand- so today I'm going to show you how to make one of these accounts. So you got to start off by making your character look like a total douche. All right, now that that's done, let's just skip to the good parts. So to put together this account, you're going to need about 7.7 .7 mil. However, you see a few optional items here that I will point out, which are the stamina potions, super energies, obsidian cape, and the 1500k cash. The 1500k cash is just in case. I lose a D-bow or I need extra supplies. This can be any number as long as you have a dark bow to start out the account. So before we do Dwarf Cannon, we're going to go ahead and get the Boots of Lightness. So just trade this guy right here, the little general shop seller. Get a knife and tinder box because we're going to need that to go get the boots. And then trade the candle maker. You don't got to go through all the dialogue. Just go ahead and talk to him. Buy a candle. Light the candle. And then standing in the candle shop, you're already standing north. So you're just going to go all the way west here, past the Sorcerer's Tower, to right here. And once you get here, climb down the ladder and run all the way to the west corner of the room. The reason why you want these Boots of Lightness is because if you have them on, it is the only thing that you can really use besides Ranger Boots that will even be in slot for this, uh, this type of account. So, I'm going to cut through the web and pick up the Boots. With the Boots of Lightness being a minus 4 kilogram weight reduction, it really saves you a lot of energy. And if you can't afford Ranger Boots, it is the best in slot for this type of account. Oh boy! So now it's time to take your cannon down to Relic of Raw Crabs and piss everyone off trying to make their account PK ready. You're going to need range gear with the best possible ranged attack bonus because that is what affects your cannon's accuracy, not your range level. Grab some food. Personally, I recommend taking cake because I heal 4 HP per slice. And additionally, I suggest that you take range gear for levels 26, 40, and 46 as you're very likely to make it to 45 plus range in one inventory. I have my Iron Crossbow for 26, my Adamant Crossbow for a weapon at 46, and then my Green Dehyde once I hit 40. Alright guys, it's that part of the video where we take out our Scholastic RuneScape handbooks, turn to page 73, and navigate our way down to the Keldegram entrance side of Rock Crabs, not the Relica side, because the Relica side has Fremnic Warriors and Hobgoblins, which do enough damage to kill you if you're not paying attention. So what you're going to want to do is take your cannon right now and put it right here in front of this Rock Cluster, which is right here. Uh, directly in front of the bridge to Terabithia. You're just gonna set up your cannon and don't worry about these guys They will welcome the cannon. They don't they don't mind the cannon. They'll actually be really helpful and, and take Take their time too to start aggroing these uh, rock crabs just the right places That way you can get the maximum amount of experience. So I will see you guys in a couple levels All right, so here we go. I've hit 50 range now What do I do people like to debate over this topic whether or not it's better to stay here until 60 and just keep aggroing your rock crabs or go cannon ogres by castle wars i'm here to tell you that it's 2k less experience now and about 75 percent more afk so without further ado let's go check it out so you're going to teleport to castle wars and you're going to go just straight east over this bridge across that bridge continue heading east just a little bit north from there you're going to find the cannon spot it is a three to four hit cannon spot depending on where they are you're just going to want to drop your cannon right here dead center in the middle of the wall and you can sit here in AFK. These drop Ranar Seeds and Snapdragon Seeds on occasion, so bring some food so you can run out there real quick and pick those bad boys up because they will cover the cost of some cannonballs. And you will sit here and you will get just about the same experience that you were at Rock Crabs. So this is a perfect place to come to if you need a little break from your computer screen. So in total, this account took 6 hours and 54 minutes to make. I used 12,127 cannonballs, which cost about 2.8 mil in the current market. And I am ready to PK. I wouldn't recommend doing this without another person, so this is something that you and a good friend that you trust should get together and do sometime for some weekend or weekday PKing. Well, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and if you did enjoy the video, please like down below, and if you have any questions of me, feel free to comment. Go goodbye.